Hello. Um, this is a... Th I'm doing a playthrough of this game, which I found on itch.io. What I know about it right now is that it was made for Mist Jam. Mist Jam 2016, hosted by Sophie Holden. You may know Sophie Holden from, I want to say it's called Dusk Child. There was this game where it was a platformer with, like, water and fire and... You wanted to light each of the kind of basins that this uh, person was holding, that like these huge statues were holding. Um, and like there were things like buckets with holes in them that would leak unless they were sitting on the ground. And uh, uh, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. It's a game that exists. And um, anyway. That's not this game. This game is called Canvas. It is, like I said, a mist-like game off itch.io. Free, which is real nice. And I don't know anything else about it. it. There's something about colors, it says. But I don't know anything else about it. So this is going to be me coming into this game not really knowing anything about it. Uh, which I think is good for a mist game, like a mist style game. Is you you are watching me solve these puzzles the first time I have seen them. So I've been saving this for a while. I figure now is a good time to do it. One moment it might get a little bit weird while I check to see that recording and streaming is all good. Yeah, everything looks fine. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and stall for a moment longer to see if anyone shows up in chat, and then I am going to get started. Okay. So... I'm guessing that the mechanics are going to be like the original Mist. You click on things. Oh, there's a piece of paper. I guess... Okay, so I guess the game starts when you click on this piece of paper. Far across the dreaming sea, a lone contraption mystery. It once did bring a sky so blue, but broken now and silent through. Your task to fix the sky once more. Fix and see the colors soar. Canvas by Malcolm Brown from Miss Jam 2016. Oh. Okay. And it's free look with the mouse. So... Okay, so it looks like we're above the clouds and there's some mountains poking through. Nice little kind of um, pencil sketch art style. Okay. Looks like there are some shenanigans that uh, you can use to get from place to place. So, okay, I started off here. Let's let's go over this way. It looks like this is more of a contained kind of area. Okay, this is definitely a puzzle. We have a bunch of mirrors, or 45 degree angle things. We have red and black. Okay, this is a reflections puzzle. Okay. So we need to find where these things are. So I'm guessing we want to bring this beam from the red light to the black circle. So What? Okay. 
Okay, so puzzles we found so far. Whatever this is, it's like one, two, three, four, five big dots, and then we have overlapping circles, one knot, one, 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 two. Okay. And down here, oh. Okay, it, 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 the fact that this is the, like, completely black and shimmering is really kind of brain weird. Okay, so I'm guessing this is actually the black circle corresponding to this one. All right. Okay, so I don't, so we have some puzzle with these pip circles. And we have a puzzle with reflecting the light from red to black. So those are two, those are our first two puzzles, is this reflections puzzle and this pips puzzle. Here's our starting point. We just started off here facing this way. Uh, yeah. I noticed someone showed up in the uh, viewers, so there you go. Uh, okay. What is this? Various lines and markings through a box. Oh! This is rotating the platform. Okay. So that slash dot is our starting point. And now we are going to... Dome with a line coming out of it. I wonder if there's something that can make that rotate without us being there to push the button. Or something which we put on this platform, because we stop in the middle. I don't know. Uh... They're like little coals. Oh! This looks like one of those puzzles. I'm just gonna go ahead and try this and see if it is what it looks like. Let's just see. Okay. That's... Oh! No! Were you supposed to go for this specific pattern? Okay. Um, right, I just went and lit them all up because that just seemed like the obvious thing to do. Alright. Okay. So, that needs to get unlit. That needs to get unlit. That needs to get unlit. Okay. 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 And and there it is. Okay, so this is this is what we're doing. We are lighting up each of these. Okay. All right. So this puzzle is 5 pips. So we have 5 pips. Uh, right. And there's, there's a little bit of this sort of orangey color that is now part of the picture. That is cool. Okay, 
So I'm going to go ahead and start taking notes. Um, okay, this piece of paper will do. Um, yeah, this piece of paper will do. Uh, pencil, pencil. I have a pencil here. Here, so. right. So, sorry, um, my desk is way too crowded. We have this shape is five pips. Let me, I think I got it right, but I'm going to go ahead and check like the orientation of the pips because, I mean, probably doesn't matter at all, but like I am, yeah, okay, all right, uh, so we've solved this puzzle, and we have some oranginess in the world now. Um, and now we are going to this sort of diagonal boxy thing, which is over here. Okay, so there's a dark bubble in the middle here. Generator switches. Okay. One, three. I'm just, okay. One, three, one, not, one, one, two, two, five. One, two, three, one, two, five, one, two. Mm. Fuse reset. Do not exceed target output of one, one, three volts. Is this base six? I think this might be base six. That would be nine. Okay. Right. All right. I'm going to assume it reset. Because um, if it didn't, then I'm going to be in a bad way. But we have nine, one, n no, nine, six, seven, fourteen, five, one, two, nineteen, wait. Sorry, I was writing down badly. 19, 17, 8. All right, let's give that a shot. Oh, wait. No, I'm going to hit the fuse reset. And then that's probably got this puzzle reset. Okay, so... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's making noises now, and it's glowing a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight. That did not work. Okay. Okay, so I have made some kind of wrong assumption here. He looks like base six. Wait. No. Okay. 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 I think I figured it out. Right. So our target output, our target output is. 36 plus 6 is 42, 45. So we need to push buttons to add up to 45. I think each of them is a toggle, not a, like, push it this many times button. So. So it's a knapsack problem. Okay. Uh, 19 plus 17 is 36. And 9 is 45. Okay, so that's top left and then 3 and 4 in the right column. Let's give that a try. Okay. Well, what do I do now? Okay. Well, I've done a thing. I'm going to leave it like that until I find out if I've done something, if there's something else I need to do to finish that one. Well, I've turned on the generator, I think. And I think I've turned it to the correct voltage. So if something requires a generator... Hi. Okay. Those are so disorienting. All right. Well, what is... Hmm. 
Okay. So... This turns the middle two. This turns the outer one and the middle one. And this turns the outer two. Okay. And we want to get them all lined up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they're all septagons, so the only way they line up is at the bottom. So, the center one needs five. So, I need five modulo seven, a multiple of seven, and three modulo seven. Okay. Uh, right. Dang it, I forgot which gears are which. Alright, so the leftmost gear is the outer two. The center gear is the inner two, and then the other gear is those two. And now I'm at one, two, three, four, f uh, I'm at one, two, three, four, five, two. All right, so A plus B equals five, B plus C equals four, A plus C equals two. Let's go an extra lap on the outside. So A plus B equals five, B plus C equals four, 4a plus c equals 9. Okay, hold on. If a plus b equals 5 and a plus c equals 2, then b minus c equals 3. B plus C equals 4. So, uh, B minus uh, C. Wait, B minus C equals 3. B plus C equals 4. That puts C at a half. That doesn't work. Um, okay. So let's try adding not, let's try adding seven to the outer loop. So we have nine. A plus C equals nine. A plus B equals five. So C minus B equals four. C plus B equals four. So that says B equals zero. If B equals zero, then A equals five and C equals four. So let's try five on the first one and four on the on the last one. One, two, three, Four, five. Yep. Okay. Okay. This is going to work. One, two, three, four. And now all the gears are turning together. And it's 
playing a nice tune. Okay. Hi, Hood. Yeah, it, it started off as just line drawings, and I think as you unlock each color, it starts using that color other places in the world. Maybe. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. Um. Okay, so this one is... I'm pretty sure, like, these circles hold zero to five pips. So I think this is a base... Six arithmetic. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's how it works. So this one is 10 or 6 in decimal. Huh, everything seems to have seven sides, which is interesting. This one is... Sorry, uh, my... I'm taking notes on top of my... mouse... cord, because... apparently I didn't realize that I have a clipboard right here. I have a clipboard right here. I'm gonna start using this clipboard. Okay. Uh, alright. So that is two puzzles performed. Uh, this puzzle over here, I think I got it, except that for the fact that it didn't get. So um, I'm just going to leave it for now and come back to it. I think the generator is on, except the, the puzzle didn't solve. So who knows? Is this like a labyrinth? Okay, so there is the crystal that we need to power. And this is a dead end. Okay, so what is there in here that I missed? Wait. Oh, I touch it, and the puzzle changes shape. One of the things I like in games like Myst is, and, and I guess I suppose this was one of the advertising points of Skyrim, is you can just look over and see something that you were messing around with just a little bit before. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, here's gem number two. This looks like a new direction that I can go. Or not. Alright. Oh, here's another gem. This one I touched already. I don't know if there's ones I'm supposed to touch a second time. This one I've touched already. That doesn't go anywhere, or at least not yet. Okay, so I've touched all three of these that I can find, I think. So what if I touch this one again? I 
believe I found one over there and touched it. So, yeah. Okay. So I haven't found any progress by touching this one a second time. Maybe I'm supposed to turn them all off again. So that is not helpful. So let's try with number two on turning off number three. See if that gives us anything. No. Okay. So let's have one on. Oh, right. the puzzle have I not had access to? Okay, I'm going to put this one down as I also don't know what I'm supposed to do here. So that is two, well, technically three spots where I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go from here. So, um, I'm just going to turn all three on and leave them on and figure things out later. Okay. Um, 
I can't get there. Wait, oh, shoot, there's a staircase. There is a staircase down and more boxes. Okay, so that's what I need to do in that puzzle, is I need to find that staircase, which is like in the center back. Okay. All right, so I've learned something. Here we are in a new place. draw this. You have a piano. <coughs> Sorry. Um. Sorry, uh, I am, okay, so, D, E, no. G, A, B, C sharp, is that? I do not recognize this thing. Uh, maybe it was in there and I just didn't notice it. Um, C sharp D and then we have the next G G.
All right. Okay, I have, I've written down the design on the piano. We have the... Okay, we have the piano. We I have the tune from the piano, so we'll see if that tells me anything. Okay, so this is where we started. We started here with on this end looking out in this direction with nothing lit. Here's the first puzzle we found, and this is the gem for this area. And I don't see a way to reach any of this stuff. Um... Oh, okay. So this moves mirrors. Um, right, so we wanted that mirror moved. Where's... Okay, two... Yes, we want two flipped. The only way we're going to get the light there is by coming up and hitting the back of that one. So three... Where's three? Three is that one back there, and we want that flip too. Okay. Four. Four we wanted where it was. Five. Doesn't matter, I don't think we're using it. Six. No, we want six where it was. Seven. Eight. All right, what does this button even do? I don't even know. All right. Boom! Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. That is cool. All right. Okay, and then this one is two. This one is this box uh, slash the upper right dot below. Okay. Okay, so we've solved this one and this one. Uh, two and five. We don't know what to do yet over here. So I'm going to mess around with this for a second see if there is something I missed. Right, this is a generator. This is the fuse reset. And it said maximum power of... of 113. And here are the powers of the generation switches. Why don't I try to do this arithmetic in base, in base six. So, to get, uh, this, these two combined would be, yeah, yeah, no, this is correct. One, this, these two combined makes one oh oh, and this is one three. So upper left, those two, the power level looks correct. Am I supposed to lick the science? I don't see a way for me to touch it. Is there a button on this at all? This just has the generator switches. It doesn't have anything else. 
Maybe I'm supposed to hit the fuse reset one last time. It's not letting me hit the fuse reset. I guess because the fuse wasn't tripped? But what am I supposed to do at this point then? I have the power at the level it's supposed to be. Okay, I'll try pushing up or right just to confirm. Because if I if it's at the level it's supposed to be, and I push this, it should trip. It didn't trip. Is this base 7 and not 6? If it's base 6... Seven. I should push the second switch in the left column. It's base seven? It's base seven. I could have sworn it was base six, but I guess the big black dot represents six. And then, okay. Okay, it's base seven. And this one is one dot. sworn it was base six. I guess I just learned something now. Okay. So that is... That is... This one done. Okay. Okay. So... Wow. Okay, I guess it was base 7. We did green. And now it is... Whatever color this is down here. So I left all the switches on. <sighs> all right. Right, I think I want to leave the last switch on because that was the last s switch I flipped. turning the last switch off now. Okay.
Dang it. Okay. That's all switches on again. Let's try turning off one. All right, and two still gives us access forwards from here. And three still gives us access forwards from here. So, like, the obvious thing that I think of is just turn off, is just get into a new position with all switches off. So, let's try turning off three and then heading over to two and turning that off last. get to two with three and one off. Okay. Let's see. this someplace new? This looks like someplace new. And it doesn't go anywhere. Well, that's, that's fun. Um, okay. Can I turn off one and still make progress forward? Aha! Okay. All right. Okay. So, so I've managed to manipulate the state of the puzzle to, I think it was like, just two on and me or I don't know maybe two and three I, I forget but I managed to get to huh there's a ladder up at the exit that's cool all right okay So I've got this one, two, three. Sorry, drawing the diagram. Uh, right, I've got one, two, three, four, and five. And how do I get to six? I need a way across to here. Okay. So I'm 
guessing going over there might might be key to making it to that one. ended. Is there anything I can do to play music on the keyboard or anything? order. Okay, so this is one, this is two, I don't see a three, but do we have a five? Yeah, I don't know where three or four is, but um, the next one that we do have is five, which is here, and then that's six. figured out logically anything. Is this a puzzle that requires you to know how to play the piano? I mean, technically I do, but I haven't I haven't in a long time, and I can't just tell what the notes are right off the bat. Okay, let's try... Right, I tried one, two, three, four. I'm going to try brute forcing and see if that does anything. I mean, musically, this Sounds like the first. What was it? Three. So you play the melody. I yeah, I was just going by what sounded right in a melodic way. Um 
just tension and release, I guess. And there we go. We, we have purple... Oh, that's the symbol that I didn't recognize. All right. Okay. Well, how... I mean, the question remains, how do we get there? Wait. We can go up? There's an up? Okay, so I'm... Maybe that unlocked with the purple thing. Oh, and here's our piano. Um... So... One... The one I don't know, I'm just guessing is four. That one is five. This one is six. No. This one is six. I just... I never actually made it to the blue one. Okay. Okay, this was Canvas. It's Canvas. All right. Um, thanks to anybody who hung out. Uh, hi. If you're seeing, watching this on YouTube, I uh, hope you had a good time. And I am gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Um, thank you all for uh, following me all along on this.